Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Serenity RV Travel. I realize that you guys haven't had a tour of our RV. We're at home right now, getting ready to go on another trip. The husband is checking the tire pressure, putting on a new TPMS. So let's walk inside and see how it looks. And of course on the back, we've got our Serenity. Got Woody, Buzz, and we have that on the back of our Jeep also. We have a little Sporky and Woody and Buzz. And the Jeep is the Toad. We've got the bar on the front of it. Getting ready to go. We do put a lock on this bar right here. This makes it a little bit more difficult for somebody to steal. And this is the Accolade 37K. We take our little girls with us, so we have the sign. Y'all come on in. Welcome aboard. To keep the heat from the cab, from coming out. I have a quilt I put up here. And I can fold it up when we get ready to drive off. The top bunk, that's the girls bunk. They've got their own little sleeping bags. Of course the window opens. Shade, but we have it closed off. We've got some places to hang our keys right here. Or hats, sun visors. In the kitchen, we do have a fold-out tray. Give us a little bit more room to work with. And it's a single basin sink. So with the single basin sink, I have the little wash tub in here. We also have this that we put in the sink to put over the top of it and dry stuff. Now, this tension bar right here, when we get underway, hold on, let me stick it up. We'll put it right here. We had a real hard time with these drawers, the big drawers, not staying shut. We do have the full-size refrigerator, fireplace, little runner here. We replaced the sofa that was here. The sofa went from the back of the dinette all the way to the wall. So we replaced it with the theater seats that we got from Rec Pro, R E C P R O, and I added a couple little end tables. In the end tables, it has storage. The center here also has storage. And my husband found this sign he just had to have. Yeah. We got it a few little wall decorations. Not much. We did line all of the exterior cabinets the pantry cabinets right here we lined all of that for the exterior walls these are just little magnetic rechargeable lights it gives us some light in there now Come on over here, check out this fridge, man. We have lots of room in the fridge. I don't have it packed yet, but we're working on it. And of course the freezer. They didn't give us enough shelves. It's like we're missing two more shelves here and here. So I found 
these on Amazon, the little trays, to help. And it also helps in the refrigerator too, to keep your stuff from sliding around. I don't like to put a lot of heavy stuff in the door. And I've got one of the trays here also. If you put a lot of heavy stuff in the door, I just think it can make it a little cattywampus. I added some stick-on backsplash over the fireplace. The tile that was there had several cracks and whatnot in it. When we picked it up, our inspection, we pointed that out to them. They're supposed to replace it. It's been over a year now. They still haven't sent us the replacement parts. So this is the bath and a half. And when we're underway, we have another fan here we'll put in here and of course we've got our Jeep stuff we have the liner up here to cover it up help keep the heat out being in Florida you have a lot of heat in the bedroom it's a king-size bed we're considering replacing it with a queen just to give us a little bit more room on each side. I really like the king. I don't have it laid out right now. We only lay it out whenever we get ready to use it to go to bed. In the closets, I found this nifty little thing from Amazon. You can zip a second part to it if you want to has little drawers. I took one and laid it down there to throw extra shoes in. Down here where the washer and dryer is supposed to be, we just put the storage bin in here. There's the washer and dryer hookups. Just extra storage. And again, don't forget that tension rod keeps everything from flying out on you when you go to open the door. So into the main bathroom. It's nice. It does have enough room. And in the shower, when we're traveling, I put the cat litter pan in the shower. Just keeps it a little bit from sliding around and, and making such a big mess. Up here, we also have the inserts for the fan and skylight. There's not too much of a place to hang your towel. You have the one little towel rack right here. Our hot water heater system. You can operate from back here. And the lights, your accent lighting, which I think is really nice. That little light, believe it or not, is super bright at night. You're going to want to turn that off. It's plenty of room for the two of us and our girls. We've got two kitty cats that travel with us. Here's the mess where he's hooking up the TPMS. I have this Gobi. It helps us mine the temperature in the RV while we're away. I got an extra tower here that has more USBs and regular plugs on it. That way if we're working, charging up the phones or working on the computer or whatever. And we keep this little dehumidifier running even when we're parked in the bathroom i'm sure you noticed the damp red hanging bag we also have one up here in the cap we keep one forward and one back now when we park down here between the two seats once we get parked we put the litter pan up here the cats don't have any problem whatsoever with me moving their litter pan around but this way, it's parked, it's up here. It's out of the way. 
so we're not moving it every time we want to take a shower. And they really enjoy laying in the seats. If it's not real hot, we'll take the reflex down from the windows and just pull the quilt down. And then they love to sit up in the windows and look out the windows and be able to look around. But Florida in the summertime, well, not just Florida, several places in the summertime, you know how hot it gets. So that reflex makes a huge difference. I've put it in all of the windows also. And depending on where we're at, how much privacy we have is to whether or not I take it down when we actually stop and get set up. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed your little tour through our RV. Y'all enjoy, have a safe trip, and we'll see you next time.